to zan mako ku sallwa sanda tare su koko ba tinin ba to ma fula ku fale mzilamai wato ta o anti usha number 1 locksmith guys nam hlanje city you are not struggling probably it's just labor pains you're not struggling guys there's time whereby everything is fine everything is smooth you are happy you know not necessarily what you're getting everything that you want but you are happy you're content within the space within the environment within the situation that you are in and then you plan you want to achieve this you want to achieve that you want to achieve this you want to achieve that and when you are starting to achieve a certain part of your life most of the time you are not aware what you you have already started to go to that direction of what you want to achieve sometimes you realize but realize later what okay this is a path that i need to go through um this is where my luck is or if i i move to this direction this is where i'm going to find uh, exactly what i'm destined for then time goes time goes time goes you are attending abatandazi traditional healers uh, churches different churches uh, you know this year you 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 are in this church you know you fully uh, connecting with this pastor the following year you're no longer going to church and everything whatever that we are planning in the background is growing it's growing it's growing it's growing but you don't know exactly what you want to have that is what that is when pardon me that is when as healers we come in so that we are able to tell you things that you don't see with your naked eye that is what the, what that is where the prophets come in again to tell you things that you cannot see in your naked eye that is when the, the 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 preachers the pastors comes in to help you to to help you to prophesy what is it that you want to see at the end of the day then time goes time goes time goes you know you you, you can see man you know what i'm struggling you know what i i i am struggling uh, you know that's what you think i am struggling then things gets worse things now starting to get worse not any better not any easy but they start to get worse you're losing your cars you're losing your how you're about to lose your house you're about to lose everything that you have your marriage is starting to get in a rocky uh, situation all your relationships they start to get in a rocky relationship you know you, you were so glued to this guy you thought this is your friend this is your, this is your to go kind of a friend and everything now things are starting to to go you know another direction and you get get so confused and you start again you go to consult and say no man things were going east now they are going west I don't know what to do. There are people who can say, "Coco, trust me, I don't know what to do anymore. I have tried this, I have tried that, I have tried that, I have tried that. <laughs> Dead. I don't know what to do anymore. Please assist. Please come in and assist me." That's when we come in. That's why it is important to go and consult. Going to consult doesn't necessarily mean you are going to use muti. I have many hundreds or thousands of people who came for just for consultation. They wanted to know what what is happening. They will find help somewhere else, and it's fine with me. I don't have a problem with that. So, you 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 go and you you check this. You talk to this one. This one tells you this. You go to that one. That one tells you this and everything. That's why it's very important that. After its consultation that we have made, have a self introspection. Sit down on your own space and think about what I've said to you, based on the situation and everything. So things now they start getting worse. You consult, you do that, you do that, and you you say, you know what? I'm struggling. I'm struggling. 
I don't know what to do anymore. I'm giving up. That's why there's, there's a very thin line between us and societal. Very, 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 very thin line. Because when things start to get worse, we want the quick, quickest way to get out of that situation. The fastest way to get out of that situation. There's no one that wants a slow way to get out of the situation, which is where we're getting it wrong. Because it was a process for you to see yourself things getting worse. It didn't just happen overnight. No, it's a process. The same process, it must apply when you are now solving your ex. When you are now solving the situation. Let me repeat this. To find yourself where you are today, equally to relationship not going well, uh, marriage not going well, work things not going well, business is not doing well. That thing, it took a certain process, which was going where? Downhill. And when you are trying to fix things, there will be another process going to uphill, which is what it's even more difficult. It's easier to lose what you have. It's easier to see uh, your marriage ending, just like that in front of your eyes. It's very easy. But it's a process. As things are going down, it's a process. There's a certain process that you are allowing it, that each and in individual of us are contributing towards that for things to go downhill. And when you are fixing things, you are going uphill. And as you are going uphill, I mean, guys, it, this thing is very clear. It's uphill. When, as you are going uphill, things are getting even more difficult. But trust me, things are not as bad as you see them. You are probably on labor pains. You are now giving birth because as things go up and up and up before they they, 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 they meet the bed of the hill you'll realize what it, it's even harder but there is something inside you that is living that resides something inside you that keeps on saying to you it's gonna be okay if, if, if i can reach there again i'll be fine as you are reaching there, you are on labor pains. You are about to give birth to your new beginning. So, why do you give up as you are reaching the tip? Guys, before you, you can do a research, you can go on, on, on YouTube and, 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 and read the and listen and watch the, the guys who are who are climbing the mountains and everything. Ask them, Uguchi, what is the hardest, hardest moment? It's when you are about to reach the tip of the hill. As you are starting, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting because when you look back, you know, it's, you can always go back, you know. When you look back, into, it's easy. Okay, oh, okay, I'm from there. I'm from here, you know. But as you are going up and up and up, and up it requires you to have more strength believing in yourself you know there's a team that you go up the hill with there's a team that you went down the hill with make sure that those that assisted you to go down the hill you don't carry them when you are going up the hill because now you're going to achieve what you had and even beyond so you don't need the negative vibe that assisted you i'm talking about friends uh, or whoever or colleagues and everything who told you ah no your boss is talking rubbish you are right my friend uh, what what is was wrong you my friend you are right who was wrong and everything yeah your wife or your husband was telling you rubbish you are right you are not my friend do this way uh, and everything those are the people that caused you to be where you are the people that encouraged you to take your money for the business to go have fun with them you don't need such people as you are going up the hill because they don't have a strength 
to climb. They have the strength to walk down. So you must be careful. So now I'm adding another uh, 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 angle of, of, of this video. Uguti, you need to be careful about people that are around you. Choose people that will tell you the truth when you don't want to hear the truth. Choose those people. People who don't care, Uguti, what is it that you, you have, how much you have and everything. But people who will tell you to say, we are better. You are messing up. This is wrong. This is not how you treat another person. This is not how you treat money. This is not how you raise children. This is not how you do this and this and this and that. You must choose those people when you're going up the hill. Because what? That is labor pain. Then as soon as you reach the tip of your hill, you are now what? Giving birth to the new beginning. To the new beginning. So you are not struggling in a situation that you are. You simply have to take a different thinking. You need to change your mindset. Probably you need to see somebody. Whether professionally, maybe psychologist, or you need to go and consult with a healer. You need to do something. You will never solve your problems sitting there. It, it won't happen. It won't happen. You need midwives so that you are able to deliver whatever that you need to deliver in this world. Be careful about people that are around you. Those are people that sometimes you can call them enemies because enemies are not people for uh, like fell far from you. Be careful about the, the, the thoughts that you have. If you are a negative person, you are bound to give birth to something very negative and you won't like it. So it is very important, Uguti, whatever that we do, we think deep about it. Everybody gets to the point of struggle. No one under this world that can claim, Uguti, I have never struggled in my life. Why is that? Because struggle doesn't happen because of you don't have money. Even people that have a lot of money, they do go through certain struggles. Whether they're going through a rough divorce, they're going through a, a very abusive relationship, they're going through a very hard a, a business deals that needs sacrifices and negative things and everything. Everybody is bound to go a different way. Take it, uh, let, let's, let's do a typical example. You are born out of a rich family. You, you grow up with a silver spoon in your mouth and everything. But as soon as your parents are no longer there for you, that's when you realize what it, your parents were going through hell to make sure you have that silver spoon in your mouth. That silver spoon now needs to be polished. And you are on your own to make sure what you polish that spoon because Tina is that you are growing up everything you were wild and everything. We don't believe you when you say you are now struggling. Then where you are, you are on your own and you need to make sure everything that you do, you do it the right way. So this video is very simple, guys. You are not struggling. You are probably in the labor pains. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't give up. No one said it to be easy. Hold on. Listen, hold on. Don't give up. Do not give up. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Don't give up. Keep on sending those CVs. Keep on pushing those profiles. Keep on talking to her or just play around him. One day he will pay attention to you or she will pay attention to you. Don't give up in whatever that you are thinking. You have brilliant ideas. They came to you because you have a womb for those ideas. They didn't just jump into your womb of ideas. Don't give up. You, it's possible that you achieve that. 
do not give up don't make them happy don't make your enemies happy yes for now you're going up and down internet cafes typing uh, cvs typing proposals go around knocking and everything keep on knocking on those doors one day somebody will open that door not just open that door but they will let you in they let you sit down and they'll give you a glass of milk while you were thirsty for water they'll give you something that worth much than what you were hoping for they might give you water first but they'll also give the cherry on top and give a glass of milk then you'll realize that now you have arrived then the same people who said to you what are you doing are the ones that you are now going to call them your enemies because they will be against what you're achieving because when you were struggling they didn't know how you felt inside you they were not there inside you ideas good ideas comes to those who has a perfect womb a very healthy womb for good ideas healthy uh, womb for uh, as a person that can do a better job don't give up there's a guy who came here the first time he came here he had a lot of papers others they are now starting to get debt and everything and when i when i remember very well it was like his mind it was like he's now losing his mind and everything guess what i've, I've made sure that i give him medication i've, I've get him into a ritual that will will set his mind straight and everything the last time he came here he was driving his own car and not just a car a real car why ubegezela perseverance perseverance pays guys keep on knocking keep on going to that healer if it doesn't help you go to another one they will help you but don't just jump give each and every healer an opportunity for you to be where you want to be keep on knocking keep on knocking keep on knocking you will get it right one day you will get it right it might not be a, a, a next week or when but one day you get it right all i'm saying is that do not give up because if you are giving up what are you, what is it that you're hoping to achieve by giving up if you can tell me if you give up what are you hoping to achieve because if you give up you're not going to achieve anything and if you give up you are not going to be where you are now you're going to start from the bottom pants you're going to start from the bottom don't give up yes other people they, they had it easy they, they had uncles that has connection their parents that were educated i remember my father used to say I remember my friend Ulungelo, whenever uh, 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 her parents, uh, his parents were, were buying him something, I would run to my dad and say, Baba, can you please buy me this? And and my father sat me down and said, Boy, listen, listen here. You see, my fingers are not equal. And my fingers represent the families around us. And I said, Baba, I'm confused. And he said, this is another family. You see where it is? This is another family. You see where it is? This is another family. This is where you compare me with your friend, Ulume. I'm not here, my boy. And this is another family. We are here. We are right at the bottom. I, I don't have, I can't afford that. And for the very first time, I understood. And I've started to say, I'm going to move from this position. This is where my family is. This is the position my family is. I don't know where I am here, but definitely I'm no longer here. This is where my father left me, but I'm no longer here. I've made sure, Uguti, I work harder and harder and harder so that I'm able to provide for my children the same way I wanted my father to be able to provide for me, but it was impossible at that particular time. And I've started to appreciate my father. I started to be content where I was. I was right because of that was my age. My age was allowing me to do that. There was nothing else I could have done. This is where I've started selling things. Uh, eggs, peanuts, sweets, 
uh, snuff and everything we went to the to to the railways to sell stuff it emeleni and everything a friend of mine who, who solomon stole introduced me into uh, another company that sells uh, uh, plastic packs we started went with there we ordered plastic packs he was selling in orlando east and then i said okay it's fine he's my friend i can't compete with him i'll go to sell on another township which is i went to deep Loof to go and sell and everything that is when i started now to say I, I don't want to be here this is where my parents left me but i don't want to be here and trust me my parents were very supportive because they saw Oguti. i'm not comfortable yeah I wanted to go somewhere, which is what what it was going up the hill. I'm thinking that's where I am. I was going where up the hill. I'm not rich till today, but I'm okay where I am. I'm I'm in a better place because I'm in labor pains. I haven't gave birth to what I really want to achieve, so I cannot say I'm struggling at this moment. I can't. I'm going there. I'm in labor pains. It's, it's a step by step by step by step. Eventually, I'll achieve whatever that I want to achieve. Why is so comfortable, Gogo, about this? Because I can't give up now. I can't give up now. It is. It has been a very, very, very long journey. So I can't just say, I'm giving up. I'm giving up. I can't. I, I, I fight. Uh, creditors will call me. Hey, Mr. Mbata, you haven't paid this and everything. Yes, you're right. I, I'm, I really apologize. But this is what I'm, I'm, I'm planning to do. Whatever I get, I, I throw it in. I pay it in. I do that. I do that. I do that. So it is very important to understand yourself when you are in labor pains. You must know what it, those pains, they mean something they mean a bundle of joy so i wasn't going to go but in but my full of volumes in my mouth don't don't give up now keep on knocking go consult see if that person is capable of helping you get help don't just sit down help will never come to you never forget about it forget about it if somebody says uh, help comes to those who wait I, i've had that before and everything i don't believe in that statement help comes to those who are ready to receive who are equipped so that you know, tomorrow you don't appear in a show that says i blew it you must be ready you must be able to think about millions now because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow you don't know which door is going to happen tomorrow maybe there's a lot of door that's going to happen and that lot of door, when it opens, it finds you with no budget. Then you're going to blow, blow it. You're going to blow that money because you don't have a budget. It, it, <laughs> I, I remember a, a friend of mine uh, um, saw um, a journal that I had. You know, uh, you know, I was reading a house. What? 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 Said, okay, it's going to cost about, okay, things that I want, it's going to cost about uh, around two million and everything. And he said to me, but what is this that you have written here? What, what two million? Are, uh, do you have money? It's no. In case, as I'm knocking, in case I get that money, as I'm playing lotto, in case I win, I need to be clear by now. What, what is it that I'm going to do? And he said, dream on. Do you know where that guy is? He's still in the same space that I've left him in. But I mean, just one step up. Because what? He doesn't believe in himself. He doesn't believe what he it can happen. Guys, go and Google. Go into your healers. Google your life. Find out what is happening. Find out what, what elements, what angles of life you need to fix.